Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys a ton of new art and journaling supplies that I got over this past month. Half of them I bought on my own and then the other half I actually was sent to by Jet Pens, which I'm super excited about because I have used them for a really long time to buy my pens on their website and they carry basically every pen you can imagine. I'm going to start out with reviewing what they sent me first because I am really excited to try them out. So this first one is the Zebra Disposable Brush Pen, and it really reminds me of the Tombow Fudonosuke pens in the fine point, so I'm going to just compare the two. Right off the bat, I can tell it's almost exactly like the Tombow pen. Um, it writes the same, it feels the same to me. The one big difference that's actually a plus for the Zebra is that it is a bit darker of a black than the Tombow one. Alright, so the next pens they sent to me are these Uniball Signo DX.38 pens. .38 sized pens are what I actually use the most for writing in my bullet journal, so I'm really excited to try these out. These pens are very, very fine point as you can see. Sometimes ultra fine pens are very hard to write with, but this one is very smooth. I don't usually use a lot of bright colors in my bullet journal like this, so I'm going to use these for to-do lists and things like that. But I'm going to definitely go back and get this pen in black since I love how it writes. So next is the Pentel Aquash Water Brush Pen in Fine. I actually have a similar one by Sakura in a medium point, so I'm interested in testing them out side by side. Alright, so for these pens you fill them up with water and then however much water you want, you just kind of drip it out by squeezing the little tube. And so I'm going to use my Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White and I'm going to test this out on some thick craft paper cardstock by Paper Source. This is my favorite um, craft paper to use because it's really thick and I love the color of it. And yeah. So I'm just doing this floral design. I've been doing a ton of these lately and they're super fun to paint. This pen makes it super easy to do really thin and really thick lines with the paint. It makes painting a lot easier and I don't have to use a ton of different sized brushes to achieve the lines that I want. I'll actually be coming back to this painting and adding some more details with a white pen, but I'll do that later. So now I'm just going to show you guys the thinnest line and the thickest line I can get with both the Pentel and Sakura pens. I'm actually really impressed as to how thin of a line I can get with the Pentel Aqua Brush, and so just because of that, I would probably use the Pentel one a lot more. Alright, so the next item I got in my box of supplies was this Fine Tech Rose Gold Pearl Watercolor. And I actually have the palette of gold watercolors that they have, and I absolutely love them. They are by far the best metallic watercolors that I've used, and this one is definitely no exception. The color is so pretty, it's this rosy pink color, and the shimmer that's in it is so, so pretty. I love this one. I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. Alright, so next I'm going to be talking about these Posca white paint pens. Two of these I actually got on my own and it's funny because I got them literally the day before that they sent me the extra fine point, but this extra fine point is hands down my new favorite white paint pen. All of the paint pens that I've used in the past are just not what I want them to be. They either break or they don't write well or they're not as opaque as I want them to be, but this one is perfect. I know I'm going to use this for a really long time. The thin point is definitely more opaque than the medium point, so I would definitely suggest that one more. I just added some detailing with the paint pens to this floral painting I did earlier, and I'm actually going to be putting this in my Etsy shop. Um, I'm going to be doing a ton of hand-painted florals on craft paper. I thought it would be perfect for putting in your bullet journal, giving as a card, or hanging on your wall. I just thought they would be a really cute idea to put in my shop. Alright, so now I'm going to try out the Posca Gold Paint Pen. It writes exactly the same as the extra fine white one that I tried earlier, and I love the gold color. So I can't believe I haven't tried these Posca markers before. They are hands down going to be my favorite paint pens that I've used. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys these cute little Midori Starry Sky stickers they sent me. They're super, super tiny, and I have this, like, obsession with really tiny things, so 
I'm super excited to use these in my journal. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys the last and most exciting to me um, thing that they sent me in the mail. This is the Loistrum 1917 Weekly Planner, and this is the brand journal that I use for my bullet journal, actually, so I'm super excited to see this one. All the pages are pre-set up for you, so it has all the weeklies already lined up. I actually just got into graduate school and I'm gonna be starting in January, so this is the perfect thing for me to write down all my assignments and to do's for school, since I don't really wanna put that in my actual bullet journal. So I'm just gonna do a test on these pages because they look a bit thinner than my other Loistrom journal. So I'm just gonna test out my favorite pens on them and see if they bleed. So it doesn't look like they bleed through. You can definitely see through the pages, but it's honestly not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, I'm super excited to use this journal. All right, so that's it for my package from Jet Pens. I just wanna say a big thank you to Jet Pens for sending me all these items. I'm super excited to use them all. All these items will be linked in the description box for you guys, so check those out if you'd like. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys all the supplies that I kind of acquired over these last few weeks. This first one is the Moleskine Kahir Journals. Moleskine is a company that makes really quality paper and journals. I got these to make custom personalized journals for my Etsy shop, so I actually got these new Ranger embossing powders. I had a couple, but I got more colors. I also have a white and black one and um, I'm using it with the paper source heat tool and ranger embossing pens. So I just wanted to do swatches on all three colors of the journals that I got. This is my first time embossing with these uh, colors, so I'm excited to see what they look like. So now I'm gonna take my heat embossing tool and this will set the powder into place and turn it into this metallic color. And this is how the swatches turned out. The gold and the platinum are definitely my favorites, but I love them all. All right, so now I wanna try it on the real thing. I'm gonna be using my new Black & Decker laser level, and this creates a nice straight line so that you have a reference, so you don't have to write a line in pencil with a ruler every time. So I'm gonna try out my new Stablio white pencil that I just got to do the outline of the words, and then I'm gonna go over top with my Ranger embossing pen. Usually when I'm writing on darker materials, I'll use my clear embossing pen, but if I'm writing on lighter materials, I'll go in with my black embossing pen. So now I'm just going over top with the embossing powder. I'm using the gold one. And then I usually kind of just wipe away the extra since any glitter that will be on there will be embossed on the journal. And now for my favorite part, heating up the embossing powders to turn it into this metallic color. I'll have these up in my shop and you guys can choose any word or name or whatever that you'd like to be embossed on your journal. And then I'm also going to be giving the option to do a little art piece at the bottom. I'm going to have several different designs to choose from and I'll probably add more in the future, but this one that I'm doing right now is my little mountain range one. I'm using my Posca paint pens that I got earlier to draw on my journal and they're perfect for this. I'm so happy that they're working on this material. So now I'm gonna just erase the pencil lines that I went in with first and then add a couple more little details into my drawing and this is what it looks like. If you guys want one of your own, check out my Etsy shop. I'll have it linked in the description and you can make your own personalized journal for yourself or as a gift. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys my new Windsor & Newton watercolor markers. I got these because they looked awesome for lettering, but the other reason is that you can actually blend them out into watercolor. So if you just take a brush with just water on it, then you can blend out the colors into a sort of watercolor looking um, paint. So I just did this with the blue and it went perfectly, but the yellow had a lot of troubles. I couldn't blend it out as well, and I think it's because I waited too long. So you really have to blend them as soon as you put them on the paper and not let them dry first. All right, so now I'm gonna be showing you guys my Windsor & Newton Cotman watercolor sketch box. I actually got this a long time ago and I just recently found it. So I just wanted to try it out um, because I don't really remember what it's like. I know I love Windsor & Newton watercolors, I just don't remember this palette specifically. So I'm just going to swatch the colors and we'll see how it goes. 
So swatching the colors, I definitely think this palette is a lot brighter of colors than I usually like to use. The only ones that I would really use are that mustard and copper colors, um, but the rest are a little too bright for me. This next watercolor is a tube from the Cotman Winsor Newton set, and it's in the color indigo. I was inspired from this girl called Rosie Sketchbook on Instagram, and she uses this color a lot in her paintings, and I had to try it. And it's super beautiful, it's this deep blue, and I know I'm going to use it a ton. So this next one is a washi tape that I actually already have in my collection, but I use it so much and I love it so much that I always like try not to use it because I don't want to run out. So I figured if I got another one, then I wouldn't feel as bad and I would use it more. Alright, so these next pens are the Pen Touch 2mm um, pens in gold and copper. I already have this gold one and I use it a lot. Um, it's one of my favorite pens to use in my bullet journal lately. But I just got this copper one and I wanted to try it out. So I'm actually kind of disappointed with the copper one. I love the gold one so much that I thought it would be similar, but it really isn't. It's much thicker than I wanted it to be. And the color is more of like a dark pink color than the copper that I wanted. But um, I still might use it every once in a while, but the gold is definitely my favorite. The next pen that I got is this Tombow dual brush pen in the color N60 and I got this because I wanted kind of a light lilac um, purple color and I love this color. I like getting the Tombow pens individually instead of the packs so then I don't spend as much money and I'm not getting colors that I don't want. Alright, so next I'm going to show you guys my new tiny, tiny Princeton Select watercolor brush. I wanted a small, small detail brush for painting, um, and this one is perfect for that. Alright, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all my new bullet journaling and art supplies. I have all the supplies that I use linked in the description of this video, so check that out. And if you guys are interested in my floral cards or custom journals, I'll have my Etsy shop link in the description as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.